Oi there. Welcome to day three of walking 10 miles. It is about 3.30 and I've got about six and a half miles to go. I'm trying to bust this out as quick as possible because I got stuff to do, <laughs> to say the least. Turned out to be a beautiful day. It was supposed to rain, but that blew through early. Got me while I was delivering mail. And it sucks to deliver mail in the rain. I have much would have rather hiked in it. To be able to test my gear and my umbrella, I guess I could have taken it out there, but oh well. So let's get to stepping. Them calves burned today, I can tell you that. I had a late start. Didn't feel like getting out of bed. Definitely didn't feel like walking again. I got to work really late. But luckily, my wonderful co-workers, I'll say the roofer and Jaime, have made a big breakfast buffet. All the eggs, bacon, biscuits, sausage you can eat. And I myself am definitely a breakfast food person. Kind of like the Ron Swanson. That's how bad I think I am with breakfast food. Can't get enough. If you haven't watched Parks and Rec or know who Ron Swanson is, check it out. It's hilarious. And perfect show for this kind of setting, actually. But I want to thank them because they're watching too. So thank you for breakfast this morning, man. It's what's got me out here taking these steps. All that extra fuel. After yesterday's steps, I didn't really want to see any more. Stairs don't feel as bad as I thought they would today, or as bad as they were in my mind. <sighs> Still not that easy. And once again, did them at the beginning of my miles. Hard headed. Yeah, that burns now. There it is. Luckily that nature center back there is open. I almost had to make a cat hole. I don't know if it's just the walking or <laughs> that big breakfast, but it seems to happen every time. As soon as I start walk, get stuff loosened up, you know, always important. Go on a short little trial walk and then do your business, then go to the real walk. Might just get that rain after all. I brought the Gro GoPro. I brought. <laughs> I brought the GoPro. There you go, buddy. I brought the GoPro today because I thought it was supposed to rain, and it's looking like it might still. I've been wanting to test my rain gear for what? I've had it for a month now. Not a single rainy day. It's Ohio, guys. That's uncommon. I know it's fall and all. We had a little bit this morning. It's supposed to be right now. Jim Ganahl is never right. Get it together, buddy. That's our weatherman here, if none of you outsiders know. And every day out here is never the same as the next one, if that makes any sense. It's a different canvas every day. So right now, me and you guys are the only ones that's ever gonna see it exactly like this in this moment. Maybe that's how you just look at everything in your day, is that that moment, everything is just for you. Think about it. About to hit mile seven, taking a break, remembering to drink water. It's not too bad, my calves are still tight. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but a while ago, like 11 years, I had some blood clots or DVTs as they call them deep vein thrombosis or some crap rather well one of those got loose traveled up and got stuck in my lung gave me pulmonary embolism so after that my running days were pretty much over but I used to run a lot in the military like army 10 mile team so now all I can do really is walk hike I probably could run again it's been a while but as soon as I do I don't know if enough oxygen gets down to my legs or not but they are just tight instantly like a full like I ran a full marathon that's even with stretching so just one other tidbit about me I'm gonna get moving because if I stay here too long I won't want to get back up if you guys have seen my other video about a uh, cat hole or rangers number two well it looks like officer Bully's here on patrol dig your cat holes people I think I stepped in dog crap. 
That shouldn't be. Not out here. Dig a cat hole for your dogs if you're not going to pick it up. So I've been wondering something and you guys can comment or answer down below. Mm. Someone's coming. Ah. Damn. There's the culprit. Anyways, like I was saying. So I've been wondering. And you guys comment down below. When you say hike your own hike, what do you mean? Do you mean it is do your own thing, go at your own pace, it's cool, don't worry about others? Kind of like, uh, don't be an envy or what is the one commandment? Shoot, covet, covet, covet thy neighbor's hike. <laughs> Anyways, when you guys say, hike your own hike do you mean hey don't worry about what others are doing you do your own thing that's all you need to worry about like as a uh, motivational thing or does that mean leave me alone bro get out of here you don't know what you're talking about I can see it going both ways I could use it both ways too like in my hiking with myself video when I said to myself technically hike your own hike I was like get the heck out of here bro leave me alone oh well here's someone else this is a pretty populated trail I should have known better but while I'm out here talking to myself on the phone I'm always wondering what does this look like I mean what does it look like <laughs> ah, if only I could see Maybe I can. Speaking of people out here while I'm recording, I'm wondering how foolish I look. Like, it's gotta be crazy. They all look, here's a guy looking at the phone, talking to himself. Is he actually like video chatting someone or just full of himself? All right, guys and gals, that's 10 miles. Headed back to the car now and edit this video. If you can, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know any advice you got or anything that you're doing to prepare for your hikes. And also, I can take criticism too. So you can be harsh down there. That didn't sound right. In the comments, I mean. <laughs> All right, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. I can't wait to only be on the trail. Like right now, I, I, I'm gonna do this for seven days. And that's mostly because I didn't think of the time I would need, not just to walk it, but to edit, do work, everything else, normal day stuff. That's why I can't wait to be just on the trail and only have to worry about the trail walking and whatever that day brings while I'm out there. It's, I can't imagine the, how free it's gonna feel. And I can't wait, to be honest. And I know you guys can't either, for those of you that will be attempting to through hike the Appalachian Trail next year in 2022 as well. And I can't wait to see you out there. Let's be free together. <laughs>